In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your interior pages using Adudu's tools, a dots and boxes game page using the dot grid tool. To get to the tool, click on interior tools, dot grid journal tool. Okay, I'm going to use bigger size dots, so I'm going to change the dot size to 0.1, and I'm going to space them a little bit further apart, so I'm going to switch that to 0.35. There we go, and I'm going to want my dots darker, and I'm only going to want to fill part of the page because I'm going to want to put a title on top of there later on. So now that I have it the way I want, I'm going to save it to my files, I'm going to give it a name, and click on OK. And now I can go to Account Files, and you'll see that my dots and boxes page I just created is there. I also have a number of game pages that I created in Photoshop that I'm going to customize with the Front Matter page tool. I'm going to start by adding my dots and boxes page. I'm going to click on add text to add my title. And double click to highlight it and type what you want. Notice when I tried to move the title, instead I'm moving the whole page. So what you want to do to stop that happening is set it to the background. I'm going to recenter it first before I do that to make sure it's centered. And now you notice I can't click the background. So now I can drag my title just where I want it and switch my font. And I can make my font size bigger by clicking on the font size button. Next, I'm going to add margins by clicking Add Margin Guides and inputting the number of pages for my book so that I have the gutter sizes indicated and will know not to go outside of that. Next, I'm going to drag in a graphic that I want to use as the background behind the dots. I can drag it around to get it just where I want it. Click on the recenter selection button so that it's, I can make sure it's centered in my page. Then I'm going to unlock the background so I can send this behind it by clicking set as background and then that will send it all the way back. Now that I have it the way I want it, I'm going to save it to my files because I'm going to use it in the journal builder a little bit later. Give it a name, click on OK, and the file saved. I can now go to Account, Files, and see that my file has been saved. There it is. I'm going to repeat this process for these other files so that I can get them all ready to use in the Journal Builder. I speeded this up a bit, so if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the Facebook group or using our contact form. I'm using basically exactly the same process to create all of these other pages. One thing you want to do, remember is that when you go from creating one page to the next page, hit the refresh button. That way it will go back to an empty blank page for you. Otherwise it's just going to keep adding your pages up on top of each other, which is probably not what you're going to want to do. After I get all the pages created, I'm going to kick Click on Journal Builder Tool, second go, and create my Christmas activity book. I want the pages of my book to alternate between all the different games, and the Builder Tool makes this so easy. You start off by clicking on Add Section, and then I'm going to do Add Subsection because I want to alternate between the six different game pages for my book. So you can go under Page Type and click on the name that you gave your page and you'll see a little preview so you can make sure you have the right page there and then you can just go down and continue and do this until you've added every single one of the pages you want in the book. One of the things you need to set is how many times you want to repeat it and then it will show you the total pages. I'm trying to get around 100 pages so that's going to be about 17 times repeating. And now that I have it the way I want, I'm going to click on download PDF to get my book.
If I was going to actually upload this to KDP, I'd probably add a title and a copyright page and maybe some pages that told you how to do each one of the games. But this is just for an example for you guys. And as you can see, now my book is all created and ready to go. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the Facebook group or use our contact form on our website. Thanks.